if you've been watching my channel for a bit, you might have seen a couple of Chris Crafts in there. And Chris Craft in the UK said, if you're ever in Mallorca, we've got a Catalina 34 out there, you should go and check it out. And I am, so I am. This is the boat. As I say, it's a Chris Craft Catalina 34, and it's a really beautiful looking machine. And what's unusual with this, or that's becoming ever more usual, is it's got outboard engine power, whereas previously this sort of boat would always have inboards. So this has got a pair of Verado 350 horsepower engine, they're Mercury, very nice engine, very smooth. And what that does, of course, is it puts the engines right on the back of the boat, frees up the entire boat for living space. And in fact, there's no foredeck apart from a very small one on the very front. So you've got living space all the way around the boat. And that makes this probably the ultimate day boat. So we'll take a look on board. I'm gonna show you around and, uh, and we'll see what we think. So a little bit of a hop over and we find ourselves in the aft cockpit section. Now what they've done with this is keep it relatively open. There's a fixed seat here, but what you have got is you can lift up a section like this and then this lifts out to give you more seating if you want it. So it wraps around. And then in fact, on the other side, if you have this transom door shut, it's got the same kind of thing. So you can make this in a really nice big social area. And that is catered for by this. So you've got a barbecue, You've got a little sink underneath here, and I'm not sure what this is, but I'm gonna guess that it's a bait well. So if you are fishing and want live bait, that'll go in there. As I say, it's a guess, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And then underneath that, there is a fridge and some storage. So that's a great little area. If you're out at anchor for the day, which allows you to entertain your guests, keep everybody fed and watered, and another thing worth mentioning while we're here is this is a dive door. So if I move my little bag out of the way, you can open that and you can get straight out into the sea. There's a ladder. You can just see the hinges there to drop that down. So terrific for swimming from the boat. And in fact, it's got this shade over it. So this extends out electrically. So it can roll away right into this hard top where it can come right out as it is at the moment. And that is protecting these three lovely helm seats. Now this is, Chris Craft at its best with beautiful diamond quilted seats, this lovely Chris Craft logo. And look at the way they've done this helm. It's beautiful woodwork and it's lovely Catalina 34 badge. And then the wheel, the Motorita style wheel with the weighted Chris Craft logo. So that's always pointing the right way. With well, the engine instrumentation, that's all electronic. You can see it on this screen. And then you have chart plotter on the opposite one. And then of course here, throttles, thruster and trim tabs. Love these switches, they're the illuminated section, so when they're on, they light up. And that fella there, very important, that is a kill cord. So you wrap that around your leg. If ever you were in a situation where you were pulled away from the helm at speed, that would cut the engines. Very sheltered position because you've got this big windscreen connected to the hard top and there's a little opening section so you can get some ventilation through here if you want to. Now I mentioned that this was what they describe as a walk around boat. So the accommodation on the deck level goes all the way around the front. Love this woodwork they put in here again and things like these pop-up cleats. So you can pop them up, you want to put ropes on them, drop them down when you don't. And the fenders as well, these are on these little fellas, so you can take them off really easily and clip them back on. And see how they're all embossed? It's all in the details. This is a great area. You've got this wonderful sunbathing area on the front and then you've got seating that goes all the way around. So that's a great place to sit. And in fact, you can lift this up. There's a table underneath it, which will go in the center if you want to eat up here. But also there's a big section that folds out and forward so you can extend this into a massive, great long sun pad if you want it to be. And I love these little armrests that they put in here as well. That fold away and little cup holders. Very nice. Let's put those back down. Let's go right up to the front. And again, this is what you get on Chris Craft, this beautiful wood and the logo on here. And over on here, these pop-up cleats again. Really nice. Now that, you might assume, is a brilliant day boat and you'll be dead right, but there is a little bit more to it because if you wander down this side, let's say you're out for the day and you want to use the loo, well, this door here has got one, but let's say you're out for a weekend and you want somewhere to sleep or you just want to have a nap in the afternoon. Check this out. Look at this. What a great little cabin. Double bed in there. It's got air conditioning. There's no generator on here, so you need to be plugged into shore power for that to work. But if you're in a marina and it's night time, you can cool this cabin. There's a little sink and that toilet I mentioned where you lift this up and that's underneath. So it's a great place 
if you're out for a day and people need a bit of comfort uh, and a loo basically that's where they can find it but as i say if you didn't want to spend the night on it you could if you just wanted someone to just tuck yourself away for an hour or two and get out of the sun ideal and that really stretches the versatility of this boat i think that's brilliant and of course beautifully finished as well as you expect okay so more chris craft logos love these seats these are lift bolsters by the way so you can sit on these if you want to or you can lift that up and you can rest against them when you're driving the boat and talking of driving the boat they did say to me listen while you're out here it's a lovely day fancy run out and i said go on then not only that but i have marianne and her kids with me so we're all going to take this for a little jaunt and we're going to try it out Serious super yachts in here. Okay, so I have a rest of the helm. Let's go see what this bad boy will do. So, first thing to do is this kill cord is absolutely going around the leg. That is rule one, number one. on there. Okay, there we go. Right. Okay, let's see what this does. 700 horsepower. Let's go. Straight up to about 25 knots. That's a very comfortable cruising speed, but there's loads left. We'll just take her out a little bit of that speed. And then we'll give her a run up the coast. Okay, give her a turn. It is a crisscross, you expect it to handle nicely, and it does. That's really good. Do a bit more flow. We've got some wonderful coastline along here, look at this. That's cruising at 26 knots, 27 knots. Okay, nobody bad, we'll give her a pistol, see what she'll do. Here we go. 33 knots, 26, 27, 40. That is 44 knots on the back rock. That's a fast boat. And what it means is that you can drop the speed right back. 30 knots where we are now. And that's a comfortable cruising speed. Very comfortable indeed. And reasonably quiet too. Let's give the handling a try. Okay, here we go. Fantastic. Is it corners the other way? Okay, here we go. Yeah, that is a fun boat. Well, I think that's our sorted for the rest of the day. Let's go.